Hey coaches, welcome to another edition of Talking Football with Coach Mackey. I'm your host, Coach Mackey. And in today's uh, video slash podcast, I'm going to be talking about the run and shoot choice concept. So before we get started, if this sounds all right, please give it a thumbs up, invite other coaches in and all that fun stuff. And while we get some coaches to come in and watch and everything, um, I'm going to take off my watch right now. But okay, so what it is, is if you've seen my other video, I went over the, it's on this side. I went over the go concept, which is attacking to the three-man side, all right? So the go concept is this side. The choice concept is to the single receiver side. So that's what I want to talk about. When you hit up the choice, I mean the go route enough and the defense overcommits to stop the go, then you run the choice route. So we got some coaches in. I just want to say, hey, Coach Neal, Coach Gavin, Coach Johnson, Coach Brent, sounds good. Marcelo, what's going on, buddy? Coach Perry, thank y'all so much for joining. And again, if you're just joining in, I'm Coach Mackey. Welcome. Uh, what we're going to talk about is the choice concept, which is the then to the goes if. All right, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to talk about first the single receiver side. Now, if you know the go concept, you're attacking. This guy's just running his man off, attacking this shoulder and getting him to think he's going deep. Well, the choice concept is for the single receiver side. He has got a choice of different combinations of routes he can run. And with that being said, if there's anyone here that runs this version or something like this, down in the uh, comments, could you do hashtag choice? Just to let me know because I want to pick your brain, maybe get you in on the uh, a live or a podcast, or something like that, and talk ball, run and shoot style. So if you run the choice concept, are you thinking about running the choice concept? Down below in the comments, do hashtag choice. All right. And I know if, if y'all haven't already, one of the members in here, Coach Wayne Anderson, he's a run and shoot guru. He's the man. Reach out to him and he will talk. But what it is is you've got five steps. This quarterback's got five. I mean, this wide receiver has five steps to make a decision. And what that decision is, is either an out, a post, a very skinny post, or vertical. Those are the choices, and that's what I would do. I know there's a lot of different ones, especially if you dive in deep to the run and shoot, but right now, all I want to focus on is those three choices, and this is when he will make those choices. If he, if the corner is outside, then on that fifth step, it's a speed out. He's snapping it to a speed out. He's not cleaning his cleats or anything like that. It's a straight up speed out, and he's doing that. Quarterback's going to hit him. I'll talk about the quarterback footwork and the line and everything like that in a minute, but right now, this is what it is. If the corner is on the outside by his fifth step, he is snapping it to a skinny post. Keeping it really skinny because he doesn't want to get in that guy's field of vision, or he doesn't want to go so deep that this guy can make a play. He wants to keep it skinny. What we kind of teach when we run our posts is if you're on this side right here on top of the numbers, your post shouldn't take you past one yard on that hash right there, all right? If on the fifth step, you are even, we all know the saying, if you're even, you're leaving. So on that fifth step, if you can reach out and touch or you break his plane or whatever, you just go vert, okay? Now, what the quarterback does is he, if I'm under the assumption that is a right-handed quarterback. So if it's a right-handed quarterback and he's going to the left, it is a four-step half roll. And it's, he wants to hit his four step, so it's right here, right, left, right, plant, and he should wind up on that B-gap, outside of the guard or whatever. I know some people actually roll this way, that is fine, but I would go right, left, right, plant, plant on that left, and then throw it. That's when the ball has to go out. So if the quarterback's going right, left, right, and he turns and he throws it, and let's say that he thinks this guy's gonna run an out, and he runs a post, he doesn't throw it. What he does is he immediately flips his hips and he goes to the three receiver side. Now what I'm gonna talk about is just straight up one high. If y'all like this and you give enough comments and thumbs up and stuff like that, I'll go against the choice route when we're going up against two high. But right now, keep it simple, one high. This is what happens, I'm gonna work from the outside in. All right, this guy is running a vertical takeoff. Now Mouse Davis used to teach it on his old videos on my YouTube channel that if this guy can't go more than 15 yards or if he's if this guy doesn't have an arm, he can go 15 yards and then snap it right down like that. Or if your guy's got a cannon, hey, kudos, high five right there. If he is reading his uh, cornerback. So if he's got the corner beat, he just keeps taking him. He runs it all the way. 
if this corner is deep and you can't beat him, then at 15, he throws up his hand and he sits down. These two are the sweet spot. Now, I'm going to get to the Y first. He is running a drag all the way to the other cross, the other side of the field. Now, I'm going to come back maybe on this week, maybe next week. There is a sweet, sweet drill that Dan Gonzalez does. And we talked about it on one of my uh, interviews where he incorporates all of these things to get good, especially this guy right here. But for right now, he is running a drag. He is running it to the other side of the field. It's almost like the shallow cross concept. The F has the seam read, and he is getting on that hash, and he is running past the under coverage or through the under coverage, and then he sees what he has. If this guy's in the middle of the field, then he keeps going. If this guy is rotating toward him, well, if he crosses my face, I cross his. If this guy is in the middle of the field and he is backing up, well, then I throw my hand up, and I find the first available window. So, so far, that's what it is. You got a choice, then you have a drag, then you have the seam read, then you have a vert or a sit route after 15, whatever it is you want to do, depending on the quality of this kit. If you're just joining, again, I'm going over the choice concept out of a three by one. I'm only going against one high. If people like this, I'll go up against the conversions on two high and everything like that. The reason why I'm kind of bullish on the run and shoot right now is I think it combats what the defense is trying to do, match coverage. Because you are, we are now taking the pin from the defense, which they had the last say when you're going up against match coverage. And now we're giving it back to the offense. We're giving our kids the ability to make adjustments on the fly. And if y'all are on the same page, which you should be, because y'all should, be, should not be running a lot of plays, especially if you have something like this, you're always gonna be successful. Okay, that's what we're going over right now. Here is the progression. This guy, he's screwed, he's not in it. It's going one, the choice concept right here, the two to three. All right, if you don't like that, if you don't like your quarterback looking to the choice, then coming back to the seam, then coming back to the check down, you could do another way. You could go, I'm gonna go A, B, C. You could go A to B to C. So it's all one side. It's here to here to there. All right, that's what you can do, which e either way you want. And again, there is, a, there is a nasty drill that Dan Gonzalez went over that incorporates the choice with the drag, with the seam read, all of that, and I will go over that in another video. But before I leave, if there's any questions, let me know. I'm gonna go through and see. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this. And again, if you run some kind of option route, especially to the single receiver right here, in the comments below, do hashtag choice and let me know. Okay, Coach Brent, sounds good. Thank you, thank you, we got a lot of them, all right. Marcelo, you run the choice, good. Let's see, Coach Red. hey man, uh, did y'all win the state? I think you, you were in the playoffs. I didn't see if you won it or not. If you did, congrats. You were the man. I need to get you onto a podcast, man. Talk some ball. All right. I'm going to give y'all five seconds. Then I am fixing to head out. I got some lesson plans to do. I hope everybody's doing all right and everything. I know it's coming up Christmas time. So that's the deal. And again, if y'all like this, I'll go over the conversions when it's too high. And then I'll go over... The, um, the drill that you can use, it's a, it's a modification of the routes on air, which the Air Raid uses. I, I've seen it, it looks beautiful. We may do something like that, all right? Well, hey, coaches, I appreciate y'all coming on, and until next time, let's continue to match the spread, score points, and have fun. Hold on, you, you got it in, you got it in, you got it in. Coach Davis, can you mini dig the single receiver? Mini dig in. I do know that when it's a, a blitz, he runs a one-step slant. That's what you can do with mini in. I don't know about that. Yeah, I'm sure you can. Coach Tommy, you run this at the high school level. I know some coaches that do run it at the high school level. It's what they do. There's a coach in Virginia that I'm hoping to get on the podcast that runs the straight-up run and shoot, and he's having a heck of a lot of success with it. Um, coach Pardon, back to being a purist in the shoot. Heck yeah, buddy. I, I like it. I think this is – I think if you actually went back and you break down your offense, if you're running the run and shoot into maybe three three by ones and two or three three by one concepts and two 
to three two by two concepts, you can set the world on fire, man. There it is, Coach Poston. Yep, we've talked, things have fallen through. I'm still trying to get him on because he is the freaking man. Coach Patrick, I'm doing all right. I hope you're doing okay. And again, coaches, if you if you missed it, I went over the choice concept against the one high. Oh, the line, my bad. What I would do is I would slide it away. So we're this is the main concept. So the half slide this way, man up, man up. He's got the edge. He is looking for a backer to come through if there's anyone over there and the ball's out on that four step. If the ball is not out on that four step, then he flips his hips and he's looking this way or he's here, flips his hips for the check down, then the seam read. And if you rep this over and over again, you should be successful. All right? Well, again, coaches, I appreciate it. And I'll talk to you soon, man.